Hi guys, it's Matthew here. Welcome on into another Lego Harry Potter set review. This is one of the 20th anniversary sets, and that and that is the Hogwarts First Flying Lesson set. And so today, in this episode, guys, that is what we're going to be reviewing. As a matter of fact, I am reviewing this one kind of late because I did not get it when it first came out. And then I did get the Lego Harry Potter icon set. I will also be reviewing that in the future because um, I did get it for Christmas. And so, so in that case, I have the golden. I got the golden Professor Quirrell and the golden Dumbledore, McGonagall, and Hagrid. And when I got the Chamber of Secrets, the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion mistake, and um, and the Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter, I did get the. Golden, Harry, and Hermione, and Lord Voldemort. And so now I'm just missing the Golden Ron and the Golden Snape. I am saving up my money to get the Wizard's Chest and the Hogsmeade Village Visit. And then when I get those two sets, guys, I will be reviewing the both of them, as a matter of fact. And I, I have, I'm still trying to figure, I'm trying to work out a plan where I could get um, the Lego Harry Potter Diagon Alley set because I will also be reviewing that too, and I I am I am hoping to really get that one eventually. As a matter of fact, guys, and without any further ado, guys, um, if you are new to the channel, I do make videos on anything. Um, I do more than just Legos. I do movie related stuff, and I also do and I also do um video games and all sorts of kind of stuff and whatnot guys so so yeah guys if, if that kind of stuff is that if that's what you like to watch on youtube and if that kind of stuff is your speed um please do consider subscribing and most importantly ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future and then also guys um and also guys those of you that are not new to the channel please make sure please make Please make sure you go subscribe right after this video and ring that notification bell right after this video, as a matter of fact, guys. And with any further ado, guys, um, um, I do want, um, but any further ado, guys, let's get to the review of the set. Okay. So before I get, I get started on the minifigures and the actual set, these are the two chocolate frog cards I got. I will be seeing if I already have those ones or not. And then you do get three figures in this. You do get um, the golden figure in this set. And then, I can't remember her name, but... And then you do get um, Neville and Malfoy, as a matter of fact. And then, so yeah, guys. So, without anything we do, let's get right into the minifigures. Okay, so first up we have... We have Neville Longbottom, um, so so he does come with this um, thing that he did get onto his. I can't remember what it's called, but that is a thing that he did get um, on his first trip to Hogwarts, as a matter of fact. And then um, and then Neville Longbottom, he so he does have print on his torso, and then print on and then print on the front of his torso, of course, and then. And then so yeah so so his so him him and his broom actually does something in this set. I will get you to that when we get to the actual structure. And he does have an alternate face when he falls off the statue in the Goblet of Fire, as a matter of fact. So yeah, so that is Neville Longbottom right here. So I'm gonna set him over here. And then we have Malfoy. Um, he's he I can't remember. Did we get him in the... Yeah, I think we did get him in the Great Hall, but he does have his his Slytherin limb robe, and then he's got print on the back of his torso. Then he's got his wand and his broom and whatnot, and then we... And he does have an alternate face and whatnot when he gets angry at Harry when they're flying around. I do kind of wish they did include Harry in the set, but they really don't. And then... Again, I can't remember her name, but she does have a broom because she is the Quidditch teacher. And then she does have her wand. And then she does have print on her torso. 
And then she's also got a little bit of print on the back of her torso if you lift that cape up. And then if we lift her hair up, um, that is the, that she does have an alternate face and that is the face that you would put on her because, um, because he, um, because he does, because that is, because she does have those goggles when she's coaching that Quidditch game. Okay, so finally, guys, we go in to, so finally we go into um, the golden figure, and then on the back there it says, 20 years of Lego Harry Potter on the back of the torso, just like all the other golden figures do. And then he does have um, print on his torso, and he does have the print of 20 years on the back of his torso, just like just like the other three golden figures I got do. And then he does have an alternate face when he's carrying Lord Voldemort. And then, and then so yeah, so he's just, so yeah. I think all the golden figures are going to have that, but when I do get all the golden figure disguise, I will, um, I will be showing you what um I will be I will be sh I will be I will be doing a video. Take a look at all the golden figures that we got in the 20th anniversary of Lego Harry Potter. As a matter of fact. Okay, so now we move on to the actual structure. So before I get into any of this, guys, um, the these little things that like move around and whatnot. Um, these are the these are like the things where you could like have Neville Longbottom in Malfoy and then the Quidditch teacher if you desire, and then so like they're flying around on um on their on their broom and whatnot, and so yeah, so like um so like if you could like get Neville into a position like he's like he's flying around on his on his broom, and then. So like that, and then one um, and then one leg would go um, would go on that little stud right there. But but this one right here, guys, it does not. It it's it's a little bit. This one is a this one is a little bit more stiffer, um, because because right in the because the action feature for that to move it up and down is this right here, so it moves a little differently. Um, I will show you that action feature. Um, after we're finished with, I will show you it a little bit better after we're all finished with the structure and whatnot. But before we go into there, um, we do um, we do have the castle um, little areas and whatnot, and then you can act, and then you guys can actually like rearrange those around and whatnot, and and so yeah, and so and then so something else. Something else I something else that I am glad that they included in that set is is the statue right here because if you guys have seen the first movie that is the scene where Neville Longbottom his robe um his robe gets caught on um on the um on the on like the swords and whatnot after um and then he falls down and broke and breaks his wrist so that is also another feature that it, that it has, and, and so yeah, and then, and then there's not really anything else to see on the ends, on the interiors, but you do have a little inch, you do have a little light, light right here for when it gets dark out in the movie, and then you have the Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and and Slytherin and Gryffindor flags is what you is what you have is what you have as a matter of fact and then if we do flip this thing and if we do flip this thing around and then that door does open so so it's time to like to like um to like actually like walk inside the door here, just walk in through the door like this, and there we go. All right. So these things are 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 detachable, just like 
um, just um, just like just like a couple just like all the other um, Hogwarts castle thingy mawabers. So you can detach them like that, so they are detachable. And then and then something else, guys. On both sides of the of like the building thingy mawabers and whatnot, they do have technicals. So like um so like if you so like you could put this you could put that you could put that like that and then you could put that like that and so the reason why they have technic holes and whatnot and so if you and then so if you do want to put those two castles together they could go together perfectly like that so you just like put them together like that and then and then so now get them back in the right position just like this okay so now we're gonna do that oh, okay. Okay. no okay And then so and then so and then so yeah guys so now I'm gonna take one of these buildings off as a matter of fact and then something else you can do is remove like this little top just like the other Hogwarts castle things and so yeah and so and so yeah so now so so now what they do have in like this set guys is that they do have like a little barrel thingy mawabber where you can like store a broom where you can like put the brooms and whatnot or some other things and whatnot just like that okay all right so ah. okay so now, so sorry guys, I'm, I'm I'm really stuttering. Sorry. Okay. So now, so I apologize for all the stuttering, guys. But in this little box right here that I just pulled out of right there is the Quidditch gear. So you got like the ball that flies around and hits the players, and then you got like the little snitch. We did get that. We did get the snitch in the Quidditch match set, and then you got the club. That, that another player could hit the enchanted ball with and um, and then to and then knock out like another like another person that's not on their team and whatnot. So yeah, so now we're gonna put that back like that and then and then so now we're gonna detach that back. And so now we're gonna attach like that and like I said guys this this does also this this roof piece also does come off like the other but but this one on the very top this one in the middle section does not you usually you us, I know for a fact guys because the roof peaches are only a, are only like attached to like two little studs and so therefore and so therefore they could be detachable and so and then so we do have like this set of things we do have this set of things right here also and whatnot but but so yeah so we do have this and so and then and then that shield right there guys um, that is the that is all the uh, that is a sick sticker on the on the shield and whatnot. And those are all like the past um, seekers written on there. And then that very that very center one is James Potter, which is Harry's dad. He found out his dad was a seeker. And then you got like a trophy in here. And then you got like a cup right here. And then like another. And then you got like a reward or another trophy, whatever you want to call it. And then the, and then here is another enchanted ball right in there, and then I don't know what that's supposed to represent, as a matter of fact though. And then if we so if we put this 
And then we could put this like back in there as a matter of fact. And so yeah. So I'm gonna leave that detached for a second. And then I'm gonna detach this middle section. And we're gonna get Neville out of there. And then, and then I'm gonna show you the action feature on how this is controlled. So I was gonna give you a close-up look of the action feature. And this, and it's actually this little toggle lever thingy mawaber right here that they can move like up and down and whatnot. But so yeah, guys, that is my thoughts on the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts first line lesson set. Once I do get all the golden figures, guys, I will um I will be reviewing. I will be um I will I will be doing a video on all the golden figures that we have gotten for the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, as a matter of fact. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. And I will be reviewing um, the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Collector's Edition icons, as a matter of fact. And so now I'm just gonna get all this um, back on Neville. And I'm gonna get ready to close up. Okay guys, so that was um, the LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts First Flying Lesson Set, set review. And also guys, um, I just wanted to let you guys all know, I am, those of you that are new to the channel, I am a huge LEGO Harry Potter fan. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and a huge Star Wars fan. And so I do a lot of, I also do a lot of that kind of thing. And also, guys, those of you that are new to the channel, I do more than just Legos. I do movie-related stuff, and I do... I do movie-related stuff, and... Sorry, guys, I stutter a lot. I do movie-related stuff, and... And physical media, and... And video games and whatnot, so if that kind of stuff is, um, is your kind of thing to watch on YouTube, please consider subscribing. And most importantly, ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future. And also, guys, those of you that are new to the channel, those of you that are new to the channel, please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a like and a comment. And with any further ado, guys, I'm gonna go get bring you back to more videos, and I will see you all in the very next video. Bye.